from episodic point of standpoint of view till now what we have done in bangalore it's, it's of its own kind so you need to adapt the style uh, from the creator that was quite challenging i suggest you start there with environments very much the same thing it's a it's a traveling show um in just the sheer scale i'll never forget uh in the first episode as we climb through the the mining caves and i remember seeing that in grayscale as model and we were thinking how is this going to even be possible to the final renders in the show where the lighting is just stunning there's there's a richness across the board everything is exploring stuff you know everything is new explore so it's not kind of real world scenario where you can just look at the reference and then try to replicate that or you can not take a reference from the This, uh, everything is imaginary so you need to know uh, find a mechanism find a no uh, the references uh, like kind of a, you know from all artistic perspective so it's kind of different style to adapt and uh, that is what the team did a great job if you look at it so uh, that was a quite challenge and but the the team and the, the the creators i think they did a great job on doing this disabling gravity okay we study a lot uh, behind understand uh, the science behind that and uh, you know there are some galaxies gas color is green and sometimes it can be a different color so what what's the science behind that so we learned everything and uh, the uh, gravity and some life uh, forms in some of the planets are not like humans so there's something different so now uh, you need to go through the string theories and you need to go through the black holes uh, to another galaxy each episode had a different environments and varieties of fx elements So with we with the Nickelodeon creators had to do a lot of brainstorming and finding like particular elements references like it will not be a like everyday references we see over that so each and every planet are having different kind of behavior and different kind of environments so even the character also interacting with that in this particular show it star trek we used uh, red ship where we render everything together as a single layer there is no unlike in other shows where we do multiple uh, layers of rendering here in the show we render everything the background the characters the props whatever you see in the scene so all rendered as a single layer so everything we handled uh, all the effects and the other parts which was lighting and other things with the details which we are seeing in the final output they're all uh, handled in the compositing side this is a single render so there is no layers so we rendered it uh, everything in a one go and uh, there are been aovs uh, supporting us to work on the comp so uh, reflections comes as the way it is supposed to be and there are of course there are some for film making purpose we have to add something extra in comp that also we have done but mostly all the environments are been there with the set so that helped uh, team a lot there are a lot of uh, heavy sets involved in this one so that becomes a main challenge for uh, our pipeline team to handle and how we give a lighter version of the assets to the animation team and the lighting team so that their uh, file handling stuff is pretty easier when they work in maya uh, for fx part the redshift is not supporting wholly so we had to find a different alternate methods how to fx render elements in maya output so basically the maya output is with dpxr format and even we have to find a rn do few rnds and get the output done which would match the existing rendering output so like we had to do a lot of rnd in the deep pipeline also so and the best part is like redshift will sub is now like improving a lot and it is supporting us a lot in terms of fx but uh, like 50% support is there and other 50% we have to find an alternate way and we have to sit and do a lot of rnds in the beginning of the project so how to integrate them how it will come so how to like um, uh, give the final output to the lrc team 2k wide screen is a requirement from the client and uh, to meet that requirement we have to we have to create a, a 8k and 4k maps so that there is no pixelation when we see it in a high resolution on screen there's a maturity to the show and it's uh, it's helped the artists grow and appreciate their their medium even more than they had before